Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ellen. If you're new, today's video is going to be a what I eat in a week. This was my first time ever filming everything that I ate in a week, but I think it's kind of interesting and just gives you some good ideas for meals that you can make or how you can kind of plan out your groceries for the week. I definitely don't eat that amazing still, so I'm not a dietitian or anything. Don't follow this as an exact meal plan, please. But I think it helps just give meal ideas and how you can kind of plan your food so that you don't waste as much food and so that you can still enjoy the meals you're making, still eat healthy, not spend too much time cooking, that kind of thing. So a little bit about me, if you're new to my channel, I do eat gluten-free. I try to eat dairy-free, but like I'm not that strict about it. I should be stricter, but I just try to buy some stuff that's dairy-free, but if some stuff has dairy in it, I'm fine. So those are really the only two restrictions for my meals. Sometimes I try to eat nightshade-free, but lately I've been pretty lax on it just to kind of see how I do. Well, I guess some of the spices I use are nightshades, so technically I did eat nightshades, but I'm, I'm not thinking, when I'm thinking like, peppers, potatoes, that kind of thing, tomatoes. Those are really the only two restrictions on my diet, just FYI if you're curious. With that being said, I wanted to give a few disclaimers and kind of explain my week so that you kind of know what to expect. And I did just kind of take a montage or like a quick clip of each meal that I ate. And then as I got hungry throughout the day in between meals, like I typically eat a big breakfast, a smallish lunch and a big dinner. And I typically kind of snack throughout the day along with my lunch just to kind of make it through breakfast until dinner because I usually eat breakfast pretty early and dinner pretty late. So I just kind of like fill in the time between all of those meals with snacks too. So since I've kind of plateaued and I have been eating this way for about four months and been pretty much the same weight. So if you're looking to follow a similar amount of food or style of eating, I would say this is more for maintenance rather than weight loss. So I definitely need to explain more in my weight loss update video that I'm going to film, but just for like to critique this and to kind of give you a baseline of why I'm eating this way lately. Um, I've just been kind of enjoying myself. I didn't really feel like restricting myself. I wanted to give myself a bit of a break. So I know I've been relying on the snacks a little too heavy and I know if I was meeting with my dietitian still, she would probably tell me the same advice that she told me before, which is to, for me personally, watch my sugars because for my autoimmune diseases, it's just like, sugar's not good for me. So I have a very, very big sweet tooth and it's really hard for me to not have some sort of like sweets in the day. One of my like biggest struggles is I will eat a perfectly healthy meal and then at the end I'll be like, Mm, I could still go for something sweet. And that's like the biggest problem that I have. So I've just learned to still give myself that, but in smaller quantities and with, I guess, like better sources of it than typical junk food, I guess. Um, so that's kind of how I've been getting by, but I think I've been kind of really indulging in it a little too much. So I'm just probably going to cut back on that as much as I can uh, moving forward because I am trying to lose more weight now. Um, but just for reference, this is kind of how I've been eating as a five foot eight person who weighs like, I've been fluctuating between like 193 and 195 pounds. And I've been pretty stable at that weight for like four months. So at least I know that this is kind of like what I can eat for maintenance <laughs> um, right now anyway. I'm gonna explain more of this in my next video, but it's just so connected. I haven't been worried about losing weight that much. There's been way like other things on my plate that I've been more worried about. So this has been very nice to just kind of like eat like this, have maintenance or be at maintenance, I guess. And I feel very comfortable and happy with the food that I eat. The reason I say this is not like a week of food that you should follow exactly or anything. I think it does give a good idea of like a realistic amount of food that I eat as a five foot eight person who is 193 to 195 pounds and at maintenance calories and is realistic to still having some sweets because I just have a very hard time cutting them out, but still eating healthy and still cooking meals at home and not having like takeout that much. I really don't go out to eat or get takeout very often. So I think it's very realistic in that sense, especially for being gluten-free and all that other stuff. So I, I'm not saying to follow it. I think it's good to share so that you can kind of get a good idea of maybe what someone else eats, gives you ideas for how you can structure your meals with your groceries. Cause I think that's maybe the most beneficial part of this is kind of seeing like, oh, how can I plan out my day efficiently, not spend too much time cooking, get my meals done, still eat healthy and like be able to have a good full day of meals without 
like spending too much time physically like thinking about the meals I'm making and then like actually cooking them. Um, so I keep saying this, if I met with my dietitian, I know she would say these things to me about my week of meals. So she would often give me advice to watch my sugars because I would often when I was logging my food originally when I met with her, but that, keep in mind, this is when I was like 250 pounds. She would often say to watch my sugars and keep them under a certain amount of grams per day. And you'd be surprised, like just adding honey to my tea is like a lot of grams of sugar. So I have to really watch my sugars because I know I'm probably definitely insulin resistant and with my autoimmune diseases, it's just inflammatory and it doesn't help. But I have a huge sweet tooth, so it's really hard for me, but I know she would tell me that. Um, she would probably tell me to watch the snacks a little bit. Even though I can still have them, just don't eat, overeat them to the point where you're just kind of like eating a like a fifth, fourth or fifth meal of snacks when they're meant to be a snack. Like that's what they're meant to be. Oh, she would definitely tell me to add more protein. Protein is something I always have trouble getting in. I don't know why. I, I just, I'm like very picky about my meats lately. I don't know why I've only really been into chicken and eggs and like some seafood. So I know she would tell me to get more protein in and she would probably tell me to add more vegetables and fruits in, which I feel like I have been doing a better job at because I used to be way worse at it, but I know I could add in even more and then maybe cut down on the rice because I do supplement with rice quite a bit and I could probably just like cut back on the rice a little bit. So I don't know for sure if that's what she would say to me because obviously I'm not her, but based on the advice she had given me when I was meeting with her, it was a lot of like, watch your sugars, add more protein, add more vegetables. Pretty basic advice. So yeah, sorry, I didn't wanna take up too much time in the beginning of the video because I just wanted to hurry up and like show you the meals. But I did want to like preface that there's nuance to everything. This isn't like a golden standard of food that you should follow, which I don't think you would think that anyways, but I just wanna preface it by saying that and kind of give my own critiques on what I would change moving forward. Although, like I said, I am happy with the food I've been eating and I do feel like I'm in a good routine with kind of like I have in my head like a list of meals that I'm interested in eating and that I like making and they aren't too much work and they're healthy. I feel like that's kind of a lot of criteria to hit. Like once you kind of find those types of meals that you enjoy, it makes eating healthy so much easier because you just have like the routine in your head of how you make it. So before I show you what I ate, feel free to leave questions in the comments below and feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video, which I just happen to be filming right after this. <laughs> All right, bye guys.